Welcome back to Quarantine Reviews. We're still here. Why are we still here? Just, Just to suffer? suffer? Last time we watched Tiger King, and my god, what an experience that was. I'd almost quit YouTube because I thought there would be nothing else like that ever again that would be worth, worth doing. So I've been struggling with what to do next because you just can't follow that. After thinking about it though, I realized that Tiger King, as fun as it was, it's a little bit trashy, right? I feel like going forward, we need to be a little bit more sophisticated in what we watch. And for that reason, I have chosen the Netflix show, Too Hot to Handle, about strangers who are not allowed to have sex. Let's do it. Help me, please, Jesus. I'm kind of excited. Just turn my brain off, get ready for a fun tropical adventure with Beautiful, sexy singles. That's what I'm all about. We found the hottest, horniest, commitment phobic swipesters. How did you measure that? <laughs> One thing is off the menu. Sex. <gasps> I don't know if I'm the target audience. For this. At stake is a prize of $100,000. Oh, that's easy. Which will plummet. This is going to be totally scripted. $100,000? That's that's a cakewalk. The question is, in a world without sex, will they form deeper and more meaningful connections? No. Did you guys have sex? We did it. Stop. Give me a hug. No, I'm not buying it. This is this is them trying to they're trying to pretend right now this is actually about forming deep connections. That is a lie. That's a total lie. This is about selling sex. This show is going to be selling sex. It's going to be beautiful people. Well, this is going to be beautiful people. Well, let's just watch it. I'm talking too much. Beautiful people, you know. All right, let's see. Give it a chance, Alex. Give it a chance. <laughs> Where's the conflict gonna be? Speaking of narrative tricks. Hi, I'm Lana. My purpose is to put the guests on the path towards making deeper and more meaningful connections. You are not a robot. And she will be secretly gathering personal data before she lays down. Oh God. The sex ban. Woo! It's me, the only one here. I can already feel the directing. She was told to go out there and be exuberant. Because I'm not the brightest spark. Oh, she's British. Um, Snapchat. Snap me. Snapchat. Oh my god, I don't want to see who's coming, but then they'll see my full pancake bum. <laughs> I'll just don't. Oh Who's she god, talking to? Be... One thing I've noticed about reality shows is if there's no host, a lot of times they're encouraged to go out and just talk and be exuberant. It's kind of painful. I wish they would just let people be more natural. One of the beauties about Tiger King is that... <laughs> They're just like that. I mean, let people be themselves. I feel like the beauty of reality shows is that you can actually watch people interact. You can participate in that social experience without the risk of being in that situation and also sped up times 100. Basically, you get very compact social lessons from the convenience of your living room. And I think the more editing and the more writing you do and the more you encourage people to be fake, the less value it actually has and it ends up being kind of just mindless entertainment. Give it a chance, Alex. You're only three minutes in. God, such a hater. This guy talks too much. He's so cringe. Oh my god. This next guy is exceptional at picking up. Sharon. Hi. I'm Sharon, by the way. Lovely to meet you. Sharon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wow. so sorry. What was your name, sorry? Sharon. How about Sharon. yourself? Sharon. I studied women and gender studies at college. It's really Smart. To get the <laughs> Smart to guy. I actually signed up for Christian Mingle. So any Christians out there? <laughs> no shame. What I'm most proud of is respect. My respect. <laughs> No. I have this picture, and it's measured next to an air freshener can. <laughs> Give it a chance. All you gotta do one spin, just spin. Uh, I mean... Oof. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, that he asked her to do that or that she actually did. I have this one on my back. It's not the best. I have this one on my back. What language is that? I don't know either, I'm not gonna lie. Who the hell are we? We're the Zeta ladies, we're the best sorority. Woo! Ooh, low enthusiasm. Low enthusiasm, Haley. Sorority at my college. You have to be fun, you have to be I'm in a sorority at my college. See, this is why people watch this show. Am I falling into their trap? The trap where I feel like I'm superior to these people and therefore I get a sick sense of enjoyment? I'm okay with that. I like that they cast it internationally. That's a nice touch. Harry. If you come at me with an accent, oh my, I literally turn into butter. Like, I butter. <laughs> I love Australia, man. Like Australians are the best. Oh. Butter. Bring that here. Reel it in. Ooh, Reel it in. Well, Just like butter. So I've hit everyone. Famous this was PM. scripted. Like, I hit it with the, hello, my little butter chicken. This guy love loves butter. <laughs> I love my butter. Zero. I think I'm quite cheeky. And I'm, um, this is a little a awkward. Like, you could tell in these scenes, they're, they're like... Crikey. 
coaching them, put the light in your crotch and like air guitar it. You can see he's uncomfortable. Look at his face. Yeah, he doesn't. No, he's not. No, no. Uh -uh. Speaking of micro expressions, I feel like I'm learning. I'm growing as a person from this reality show. Have you not got any on you? I've actually got some with me, coincidentally. Smooth move, David. Was it? Bring them shoulders over here. That's an excuse to touch my shoulders, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Oh, duh. I just tried to be a nice guy. Something my mum would be proud of at the end of the day. He looks creepy. I don't know what. What is it about? He looks like a cross between Daniel Craig and Spider-Man. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god! High fives all around fire. from the boys. <laughs> oh, that one's fire. Oh, that one's I have fire. 310,000 followers right now. It goes up usually every single day. Oh, it's kind of awkward. Like make eye contact and then it's game over. Game over, acting. Acting. What are you, what are you doing, your model? Um, yeah. I can see why. Because you're not a good actor. I am a deep thinker. I think about everything a lot. Whoa, me too. I've often joked about like spreading my seed and just kind of rolling the dice of my genetic build with different <laughs> women and races around the world. Yeah, I think a lot of guys have had that thought. Society doesn't really like it though. You gotta You're make a choice. Wrong. I think I've conceived just- Life is about choices. Did you just say I think I've conceived Jesus? What did you say? I think I've conceived just watching you. Ugh, that. No. Stop it. Get ready for some double trouble. Oh, I'm ready. My ideal type of guy, they need to have a job. Please, dear Lord, have a job. I'm Our already out. Are a plus. Like, I like to double out. Kind of spoiled a little bit. Triple Actually, out. I don't have any of those things. <laughs> I'm a big party girl. It's probably the Irish in me. Party girl. I love her accent. Oh my god. All girls school. From all girls nuns. school. Wow. It's like really religious and Catholic. Everyone knows your business. No, see all this whole crap? No, yeah, get out of here. Fake. Get with anyone and no one ever knows. Uh, Nicole, can you pray like a schoolgirl? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, we love it. Oh, thank like you, Nicole. Days, I just give them the snip. Smart girl. Saves on contraception. That is some trashy writing. All right, so here's a little meta meta thing to think about with these shows, right? Who are the people that audition for these shows and what is their goal? I think most of these people, they're looking for fame. And so they're basically going to be tripping over themselves trying to be the most whatever quality the show's looking for because they're trying to get screen time. It's just normal people who are just working really hard to get screen time. I think that's the sickening part of it that people kind of don't like about it. Shut up, Alex. You're talking too much. Keep watching. Cringe. Got a live tattoo here. It's basically how I see myself. Having watched Tiger King, we know he's on the right track. They have no idea that Lana is secretly gathering information about their behavior. Lana, the robot. I will observe the guests and analyze their behavior in order to help them on the path towards Please. better relationships. So many really hot options in this house. David's body. House. I lick it. Cal's body. I want to lick it. Harry's body. I want to lick it. I haven't seen Jesus' body yet, but I probably would lick it too, to be honest. So, come and get it. <sighs> That's not her personality. That's not who she is. She's very reserved. I can feel it. Harry. My favorite is Harry. <laughs> How straight are you? <laughs> so who's meeting the mark of the board? Have a quick little chat with Rhonda. Creeps me the hell out. Let's be I don't... honest, having an English accent. I've got my own gravitational force. I hope this guy can back it up. I want to see. I like when people make big claims in the back of up. Am I getting into this show? Uh oh. Every flavor of make I'm edge. We got vanilla bean. To I think there's some flavors missing. Uh, like this is heaven. There's not a whole lot of diversity on the show. There are more <laughs> races that are not being represented. I'll leave it at that. It's international vibe. Harry from Australia, and I literally have no idea where that is. Kel's like a <laughs> I think she's being authentic. Sadly. Honestly, everyone's accent that isn't American sounds the same. It's all blending together for me. Oh, I feel kind of bad for her. She looks sad. A little baby cheetah or something. A little cheetah. Is that what you are? Cheetah. Yeah. A little cheetah. <laughs> cheetah. Cheetah. My eye, I'm like, you know what I want. God, I gotta get over the accents. I feel like they were given a set of secret instructions. Like, they were initially told they need to find a pair as soon as possible. And like, the first people to pair up get money. Maybe not. Maybe that's just how people are. I don't know. Shut up. Talking too much. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Someone showing off their best asset. You have great hands. I knew there was going to be an asset joke. I resisted making it myself. That's a, that's a great pitch. 
kind of comes naturally. Ew. Jesus. In less than eight hours time, a talking air freshener is going to cock block you. I appreciate that the show is trying to be self-aware, but meh. Why is meh. She forced to pull meh. Into his orbit. <laughs> She's cool, man. Honestly. Honesty is the best policy. Boom! He's crazy, dude. She's joking, man. <laughs> she can be a bit airheaded. She's Nothing gets past air. this guy. Yeah. He's a deep thinker. Hey, you're beautiful. I like you in red. Keep it going. I love red. You stand out. All but, right. Uh, I don't even know if I really believe in marriage. But we're gonna say long term in like four weeks. <laughs> no, bro. What is this conversation? Can't tell if idiots or editing. <laughs> Nothing. No. I don't like it. Zero to sexy in less than a day. I miss Tiger King. Sharon's did Tiger King have any kissing scenes? Oh, it did. Somehow, I'd rather watch Joe make out with his two husbands than I than that. How straight are you, Alex? How straight are you? Awkward. Awkward. Want to get down and dirty with a few of them? You know what I mean. I'm pretty sure I know what you mean. You're not being that subtle. How <laughs> did? <sighs> I'm very uncomfortable. Francesca, the perfect one. <laughs> Francesca's not really my type. She seems the fakest. That's kind of a turnoff. Oh my god! Time for the robot to weigh in. Whoa! Are we in Star Trek? Fake. Now I must ask you to make your way to the Palapa. Right. What the hell is a Palapa? The purpose of this retreat is to help you gain deeper. Emotional connection. No, it's not. Your personal no matter how many times you say that, You'll it's have... not true. I've allocated a prize of $100,000. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I get my money. I'm gonna make sure I get my nose job. I'm gonna make sure I get my credit card paid off. No no more debt for me. Did you just say nose job? And then credit? And then paying off credit cards? Nose job comes first. Conditions to your stay here. Is anyone else gonna f puke? <laughs> You will have to abstain from sexual practices for the entirety of your stay. Ah! That means no kissing, no heavy petting, or sex of any kind. I'm sure I can keep my legs closed for a hundred k. Yeah. Long, hard summer. Is it going to be that difficult? I'm trying to avoid that word because of the pun, but it's not that hard. What is the actual show? How many episodes is this? Oh, I think it's eight episodes. What, like, what are they gonna do for eight episodes? Not do anything? Don't really like it? <laughs> I'm kind of grossed out by it. I feel like actually the people are not that gross. I feel like they've been pushed into being gross for purposes of the show. I feel grossed by the grossed out by the premise. It's not good. See, I'm a deep thinker and I think about a lot of things and I think it's not, not good. But I'm gonna watch episode two because I gotta see what the actual show is. They're gonna like push people to doing things and then they're gonna edit the crap out of it to make it seem like there's drama. See you in the next episode, which will probably be the last one. Let's be real. I'm not gonna watch eight episodes of this. See you next time. <laughs> what is my life?